Okay, class, today we're in section 3.2 extension. Identify discrete and continuous functions. 3.2 extension. Identify discrete and continuous functions. Key vocabulary, discrete function, continuous function. Goal, graph and classify discrete and continuous functions. The graph of a function can consist of individual points, as in the graph at the left below. The graph of a function can also be a line or part of a line with no breaks, as in the graph at the right below. Right here is a discrete graph, and here is a continuous graph. Key concept, identifying discrete and continuous functions. A discrete function has a graph that consists of isolated points. A continuous function has a graph that is unbroken. So here the line is solid, and here the line is made up of individual points. Oh, excuse me, the graph is made up of individual points. Example 1, graph and classify a function. Graph the function y is equal to 2x minus 1 with the given domain, classify the function as discrete or continuous. A domain x is equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, notice that each point is individual. Notice that each point is individual. And the way they came about that it is using a technique that we should all be familiar with by now. You take the x values and you plug them in. So when x is 0, y is a negative 1. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. When x is 1, we get 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So when x is 1, y is 1. Next, we got 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. So when x is 2, y is 1, 2, 3. Next we get uh, 3. When x is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. So when x is 3, 1, 2, 3, y is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Notice, once again, each point is individual. The points in between do not count. Now look over here at this graph for b. The domain is x is greater than or equal to 0. That means that x can be any value between 0 and infinity. x can be anything greater than 0 and infinity. That means x can be 0, x can be 0.5, x can be 1, x can be 1.5, x can be 2, 2.1, 2.3, 2.4. You see what I'm doing there? So x can be anything. That means that all the values count. Okay, now because x can be anything in this case, that means this graph is going to be a solid line because every point counts. Every point counts. Graphs. As a general rule, you can tell that a function is continuous if you do not have to lift your pencil from the paper to draw its graph, as in part b of example 1. Example 2. Classify and graph a real-world function. Tell whether the function represented by the table is discrete or continuous. Explain. If continuous, graph the function and find the values of y when x is 1.5. Duration of storm. Hours. Using the x-coordinate. Amount of rain. In inches. Using the y-coordinate. So ours is our x axis, and inches is going to be our y axis, the rainstorm. All right, now, so in one hour, we get 0.5 inches of rain. Two hours, we get one inch of rain. And in three hours, we get 1.5 inches of rain. Solution. Although the table shows the amount of rain that has fallen after whole numbers of hours only, it makes sense to talk about the amount of rain after any amount of time during the storm. So the table represents 
a continuous function. The graph of the function is shown. To find the value of y when x is 1.5, start at 1.5 on the x-axis, move up to the graph, and move over to the y-axis. The y value is about 0.75, so about 0.75 inch of rain has fallen after 1.5 hours. All right, so all they're saying there is plot these points on your graph, extend the line out because you know it's continuous because you're talking about the amount of rainfall, and the amount of rainfall can be represented by whole numbers and by um, decimals. Okay, so after doing so, then you'll locate the value you're talking about, 1.5. So 1.5 is between 1 and 2, so that's there. So then you take that straight up till you hit your line, and then come across, and you got your y values. And you notice this right here is 1 inch, right? So right here, you got 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 0.25 inches, 0.5 inches, 0.75 inches, and 1 inch. Another way to say it, 1 fourth, 1 half, or 2 fourths, and 3 fourths. And that concludes today's lesson.